refactoring is improving the internal structure of code without changing its external behavior. Refactoring gives developers another chance to improve their designs and often gives management a cheaper and less risky way of adding features to an existing system. Here are seven strategies to help you justify why to refactor code. Number one, to learn an existing system. Refactoring is a great way to learn the code and to embed what's learned into the system. For example, replacing or wrapping a poorly named method with a better named method gives us the opportunity to improve the readability of our code. At the same time, we're learning how the system works and embedding that knowledge into the source code. In this case, through providing better names. Number two, to make small improvements. Safe refactorings are a subset of general refactorings that are relatively straightforward to perform. Many are automated by development tools to do the things like renaming methods or extracting methods or moving methods or classes within projects. I find I constantly use these refactorings as I'm writing code so that it continues to reflect my evolving understanding of what those parts are doing. Number three, to retrofit tests into legacy code. All refactoring reduces the cost of three things, adding new tests, accommodating new features, and more refactoring. As we refactor code, we see opportunities to improve the design and add more unit tests. As we add better tests, we gain more confidence to perform more involved refactorings, which reveals even more opportunities to write better tests, and so on. Number four, clean as you go. Refactoring should be something we all do all the time. Coding is often a process of discovering what works. We may not know the right approach as we're figuring things out. So as we learn more, we get an opportunity to improve our code, update our names, etc. And this is vital for keeping our code clean. We want to take these opportunities. If you do TDD, then you know one of the key steps in the TDD process is to refactor code once you get an implementation working. We do this to improve supportability, to reduce the cost of maintenance, and to increase extensibility. Number five to redesign an implementation now that you know more. Even with continuous refactoring, it's still possible to accumulate technical debt during development. When you get new information that changes your existing design, or you need to implement a new feature that you currently are not able to accommodate in your current design, then it might be a good time to refactor the code to something more accommodating. This can include a major redesign and re-implementation of code to make it simpler to add new features in the future. Number six, clean up before moving on. Once you get something working before moving on to the next task, refactor existing code to make it more supportable. Now that you know what each method is really doing, ensure that the names are accurate and that they clearly express their intent. Make sure that the code is easy to read and well laid out. Break out small methods from larger ones and extract classes when necessary. Finally, number seven, refactor to learn what not to do. The majority of software in production today has accumulated much technical debt and is in bad need of refactoring. This may seem like a daunting task and it can be, but refactoring code can actually be pretty fun. I find I learn a lot when I refactor code. And after a long session of cleaning up other people's mistakes or my own mistakes, I tend not to commit those same acts of irresponsibility when I write new code. The more I refactor, the better developer I become. High-performing development teams can appear to spend up to half of their time refactoring code, but they're also doing other things. They're improving their design, they're building in supportability, and that can quickly repay their efforts. Since code is read on average 10 times more than it's written, refactoring code to clean it up 
can pay for itself very quickly. Until next time, happy coding and happy refactoring.